Hey everybody, welcome back to another Illustrator CS6 video. Today we're going to learn how to create some more shapes. We're going to learn about creating polygons and stars. Um, we're going to do some line segments. And if we um, don't go past the time, then we'll learn how to create some other things as well. So let's start out over here. Um, on the left, this is the polygon tool. And if you click and hold, you can see that there's a polygon tool and a star tool. So if you click on the polygon tool, you click and drag, and it's going to create a polygon for you. And now if you don't know what a polygon is, it's just basically a shape that has more than four sides. So five or more is a polygon. Four sides is a square and three is a triangle. And then anything less than that is just a line. So two is a line. And one point is just a dot, I guess. So let's go on and uh, I'll show you a couple more things that we can do. If you click and then you hold shift, it's going to create a proportional shape for you. And you can see as I'm moving around, it's not spinning or anything. That's because I have shift held down right now. If I click and not hold shift, I, you can see I can spin this around and do whatever I want there. And um, that's how the shape goes. Another tip that you can use, if you want a specific number of sides or anything like that, just click but don't drag on the object here or on the artboard here. And then this uh, little dialog box will come up. You can select the radius that you want, which is going to be how big it is. So if I do like a radius of like 25, and then you can choose the amount of sides that you want. So I'll go ahead and choose 5, which is a pentagon. I click, and it's going to make. Uh, a pentagon here with a radius of 25 and the radius is going to start out from the center and it's going to come out to these points here so I'll just uh, go ahead and do another one real quick let's uh, make this radius 125 and where you click is where the uh, where the shape is going to be made so I click OK and now you can see I've got a seven-sided uh, polygon here not too sure. I can't remember what a seven-sided polygon is called, but that's what we've got. And uh, that's how you work with these polygons. So I'm just going to delete a few of these, and I'll show you the stars. The stars are a little bit different. If you click and hold, and you come here to the star tool, and you click and drag, you get a star. And uh, this is going to be the default shape. This, this star has five sides, and um, you can also hold down shift to get it to be proportional and straight and everything like that for your star. Now go ahead and click and then we get some new things with our star. Now the stars in Illustrator are defined by two different radiuses and then you got the number of points here. I can increase this to like 12 points and then our two radiuses I'll explain here. One, the top one here is from the distance to the uh, from the I mean from the center to the outermost points so if I start here it's going to come out to these points and then you got the second radius here which is towards the innermost points so um, the innermost points here like where my mouse is circling around so these points so you can um, change your star up so if we want to have like some kind of like an ob oblong star so let me get rid of all this stuff. Let's try like something like 25. And then we got 12 points, and I'll hit OK. And you can see now we've got a cool looking sunburst kind of thing that I've made here. And you can just mess around with these. I'll bring this, make it like proportionate or something like that. I'll do 50 and 50. And then we'll lower the amount of points to something like 6. And that is what the happens when you start going proportionate with your stars. It turned into a polygon. So that's a cool thing that I wanted to show you. Now, if you want to just make make it a, a little bit better, let's go do something like 150 and then 50 to make it more like a real star. And there you go. So what I usually do when I'm doing these, I go... My innermost points are set at something like 50, and then I do three times the amount to get the outermost points to get uh, somewhat kind of a cool shape for my star that looks like something that might be real. 
So that's uh, um, what I wanted to show you about making uh, the stars and the polygons. And it just re you can remember um, over here on the left, if you click and hold, that's where these are, the polygon tool and the star tool. And the main thing to remember is that you just click on the artboard if you want to manually enter in or need to change the number of points that the or sides that the stars or polygons have. So thanks a lot for watching the video, you guys. And stay tuned, and we'll learn how to create some uh, segmented lines. Um, all this stuff is a little basic, but when you're working in a big project, you'll it uses a bunch of different basic uh, methods to create an overall big project. So thanks a lot for watching once again, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Have a good one.